People are physically tired and now they're emotionally tired as well, as you might imagine. With the surge in COVID cases, hospital staffs around the area are in dire need of extra help. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Swenson and I'm Katie Moore. There's a critical condition facing our hospitals tonight. More patients coming in with that highly contagious Delta variant, while more and more medical staff must quarantine after exposure. And that is stretching healthcare workers to the limit. Meg Ferris gives us an inside look in one hospital. And you're just going to stand here and breathe. Their parents, grandparents, husbands and wives who left their families the comfort of their own beds to be at the bedsides of our own sick children with COVID. I leave my family in my home because everyone on a DMAT believes that they are part of something bigger and, and truly is here for the public in general during their most vulnerable times of need. Have you been fit tested this year? These doctors, nurses, nurse practitioners, paramedics, pharmacists, and respiratory therapists are called to action by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. They're asked to travel to a COVID hotspot to help overwhelmed hospital staff. For two weeks, Rhode Island One DMAT will be deployed at Children's Hospital. People are tired. I think they're doing their job and these kids and their families are getting top-notch care, but that doesn't mean it's easy every single day. Special tests under a hood make sure N95 masks prevent infection spread. Ask them why they do it. They say, it's my honor, or this mission is near and dear to my heart. They show you pictures of little ones they left behind so that children here fighting for their lives can go home to their families too. And for those people who thought that kids weren't affected, they're wrong. And that's why it's so important to get vaccinated. Hospital staffing shortages are widespread. In a memo to staff, Turo management explained the healthcare worker shortage is critical, causing grave concerns there and across the entire area. Other hospitals applied for help from a federal disaster medical assistance team, but right now there's just this one at Children's. And this is a self-inflicted wound. We as a community have not chosen to get vaccinated to rates where we can really eliminate COVID-19. Staff calls these DMAT men and women unsung heroes and heroines as they come from as far away as Oregon and Maine to fill in gaps, making sure medical care here is not suffering. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Doctors at Children's say if all children 12 and older would just get a COVID vaccine, that would help create herd protection surrounding all the younger children who are not yet eligible to get a vaccine. 